and just how pleasing was that performance? Um, yeah, it was it was uh, it was delightful for the boys because they've been training really hard for the last couple of weeks and uh, they've got a bit of return now for their efforts. Um, there's a lot of aspects that I'd be very pleased with the uh, keeping at zero on the on the um, opposition scoreboard. Um, the fact that our first half and our last quarter were pretty good, and um, you know just to see the guys go out there and do what they've the reason why they've been selected and go out and play that way was really refreshing. I was pleased with the way the back time made the most of the platform that the forwards get from, especially you know, young, few young lads from Ulster that really set up to the market. Yeah, well, that's the way they've been playing all the time, and I think I've been saying for the last two or three weeks that these guys have been playing, uh, training with real enthusiasm, and uh, that's been infectious, and uh, I think you saw some of the reason for that tonight. Do you have a selection headache for next weekend now? Yeah, there's certainly a few selection choices, all right, uh, which is good. You asked fellas to go out and seize the opportunity, they've done that, and now what we must do is just reflect on the match. Uh, the way it went, the type of game it was, and what's the best fit for next weekend. So, uh, it's a new time for Irish rugby. There's a whole, uh, whole new squad coming in through, and uh, t some fellas got their chances tonight and showed that they're, um, they want more of it. Will that boost help for next week? Some feeling in the camp will be a lot happier, I suppose. It will, but it's always about just keeping that balance. You know, we didn't go too far down last week. We didn't. We're not going to go too far up this weekend. But it certainly makes it going to work easier on Monday when you've had a win. Yeah, I, I was I was quite proud of, of of the performance of the squad. Um, it was a privilege, kind of leading such a such an enthusiastic <coughs> bunch of guys out there today. Um, you know, we talked all week about uh, you know kind of focusing in on on our job role and controlling what we can, and <coughs> you know, getting the detail. And, and I know I think it was on Thursday I said it to you, said it to you guys about the, you know we trained really well and. Um, I think today showed, you know, what we, you know, we, we played as we trained for the last three weeks, and we 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 um we didn't get any returns on it last week, but you know, I was quite proud to to see the return we got this week. Were you pleased that uh, Beach didn't score the try that we were very close to? Um, more so than than the tries that we scored, to be honest. Yeah, um, really proud of, you know, it's at international rugby, it's it's not that often you you're you're able to shut out a team and not let them in with any scores at all. So that that zero was. Um, you know that the, uh, it, was, it was. You know, I'm more proud of that than the, than the try scored. And I think the lads, it, it could have been quite easy to to take the foot off the gas in, in the second half, especially coming into that last quarter. <coughs> but credit to the to the players out there, um, kept the pressure on. They had a, a good bit of ball in that last quarter, especially on our line. And guys stepped up, you know, and, and put their body on the line and, and turned over some ball at, at pretty significant times. Especially just after I think after the 50 minute mark, about six, seven minutes, things you were kind of as you guys press back and yep. seeing with everybody to turn keeping out. Yeah, well, you know, we um, a lot of guys just show. We we talk a lot about owning that jersey for the day, and and even though it wasn't a, a full test for some of the younger guys today, they definitely stepped up to the mark as if it was an international full international test, and um, you know that they, they did that jersey proud today. It often takes players a while to adapt in track or rugby. Were you impressed by the way some of your younger teammates adapted today? Uh, I wasn't surprised. I, um, I was impressed but not surprised. Um, <coughs> the last couple of weeks, you know, Decky mentioned it that we've trained really well. Like I, I can't overemphasize that, and um, the knock-on effect of that. You know, we came close last week, and this week we we um, we got some good returns. Um, you know, we're, we're not going to obviously let it all go to our heads at all. We, we, we know what's on the horizon now, um, but I'm, I'm very impressed with the lads, what they, the way they went about their business, to be honest, and, and we're very professional. And, um, you know, the captain's run yesterday, I think we only did about, you know, four or five sets of the captain run, and because it was so crisp, everyone knew exactly what they had to do. And for the most part of the game, we stuck to our structure, executed, and, and so it didn't surprise me how well we, we talked about playing playing your game within our game so when they got their opportunity and um, you saw all everyone today took it you know that they, they some guys only got one opportunity some guys like Gilly got I think got three <laughs> three opportunities um, and that they, they showed why they they had the chance to wear green today yeah, no, I think Luke stepped up really well. Like when you consider that, um, you know, Luke, Craig, um, 
then let's have to fight hard to get their Heineken Cup places to, to come from that into doing what they've done here I think is is all credit to them and um, he looked good and comfortable out there and he took on responsibility even I think the first uh, the first punt of the game uh, he managed to get the ball he got the ball inside his 22 and it landed inside their 22 uh, when it was against a slight breeze so um, from the very first goal he looked very comfortable in the surroundings and that's that's a good measure of a young man to say that um, you know he'd like more of it.